everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ryan from Intel, joined by my good buddy, Tap. Tom Peterson. And we're here today to talk more about Intel Arc graphics, in particular, the Intel Arc A750 limited edition card here, and talk a little bit more about performance. Of course, you know, when people think about performance, they, they obviously, in this case, we're talking about games, right? And there's no better way to talk about performance than to look at some gameplay. So let's just jump right to it. All right, here we are. We're in Dirt 5. Dirt 5, I love Dirt It's 5. a great racing game. Uh, so we're going to use this real quick, show a quick demo. Um, we'll jump into the settings here. We'll go into the video options. You can see we've got the image quality set to high. We've got the resolution set. Uh, you can see here all this stuff uh, is, is kind of exactly yep, as and I'm setting it up on the system, system matching what you're doing on your Yes, system. right. Yeah. So I'm on the Intel Arc A750. I'm on another edition. one. Oh, you're on a different, a different, different system. system, right? And okay. so we'll go ahead here. Now we've shown the settings and go back into the benchmark yep, mode. Yep. Uh, and uh, we'll jump go. in. Let's take a look. All right. All right, so we're in it now. We're, we're in it, amazing looking title, uh, fantastic game. Uh, we're you know looking at, uh, on average, when you get to the end, we'll see somewhere in the in the low 80s yep. in frame rate. Yep. Uh, what are you seeing over there? I'm seeing, on, you know, another... I'm seeing uh, on this other guy, you know, running in the high 70s, low 80s, and uh, it's looking very smooth. It's, a, it's Again, it's a delightful looking game. They look virtually identical. Very cool. Yes, absolutely. Let's but let's jump to the end. So here you are with results page. We're in the low 80s, average I'm, I'm in the 80-ish over here on this side. A good experience on both of these systems. Fantastic. Uh, but, you know, the X12 very cool modern demo. title, right? Very cool demo of Dirt 5. Yeah, very cool. So, as always, a fun demo. Love games. The game was running DX12, one of the modern APIs that we've talked about yes. through some other content that we've done. What, is, what does it mean to be a, a modern API, and how's that impact Intel Arc? Well, modern APIs like DX12 and Vulkan are designed to be what I'll call thinner. Right? And thinner means that game engines and game developers can more directly take advantage of the hardware that's present inside of our graphics cards. So what that does is it makes it a little bit more efficient in the sense that you can tune for the hard hardware that you've got. And you'll see results that are typically more indicative of your engine. Got it. Right? Got it. So I think those were fun games. But um, the truth is I've had so many questions about, hey, what's the, what's the deal? Where are you really going to land? Yeah. So let's just throw it out there. Let's just talk about performance. A lot more than one title. Okay, so let's pull up the chart. And what you're looking at here is 19 by 10 data uh, running DX12 on ultra settings, which is kind of a sweet spot for this card. You'll see in a little bit, it maybe can be even a little bit higher. In this case, you're seeing uh, all the games are running above 50 frames per second, and a lot of games are running way above that. You'll see most games above 60 or even higher. In this case, PUBG is running 114 frames per second, and Dying Light 2 is running at 80 frames per second. So we're delivering just a great experience. Yeah, the, po the point is, you put this card in your, in your system, you're going to get a great experience at 1080p on a massive amount of titles. Yeah, these are, these are all titles that we pick because they're popular. They're all DX12. Uh, either reviewers are using them or they're high on the Steam survey or they're new and exciting. So these are not like cherry-picked titles. We right, looked at right. a, bunch of, a whole bunch of games. So to make you understand that they're not cherry-picked, let's go ahead and Let's do it. We're going to break the fourth wall data. here, right? So this is <laughs> this is the competitive data. This is RTX 3060 versus A750. Now, this is a little bit crazy. No, not many people do this, but I feel like we really have to set the context. This is running the same system, same settings as much as we can. This is a fair comparison. Yeah. And you'll see we're kind of trading blows with 3060. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. Now, it's a little hard to tell from this chart, so I went ahead and normalized it, which means I'm dividing all the frames by 3060. Effectively, 3060 is 1.0, and when the blue line is above, that means that Intel is winning, and when the green line is higher than the blue line, then NVIDIA is winning. So right. you can see it looks kind of like 50-50, right? Some of, the, some of the titles on the left are, are NVIDIA, some of the titles on the right are Intel, and that's a pretty interesting result. On average, if you look at the mean across all these things, mm -hmm. we're winning by between 3 and 5%. It's, pre it's pretty impressive, uh, and I think you know, we're, we're showing the data. We're putting it out there. Yeah. Right? We want um, people to understand the positioning of the card and, the, and where it's going to land. Yeah, this this represents where we are right now. That's now right. the drivers, you know, obviously we're going to continue to get better on our driver. Nvidia is going to continue to get better on their driver. So all of this data is the best that we can do right now. Sure. But you know, your mileage will of course vary. Now it's not just 19 by 10 though. 
I told you that this card, uh, you know, it's got a little bit left in the tank there. Yeah, yeah. So let's look at 25 by 14. This is Intel data running 25 by 14 high settings. And again, same story. You can see most of the time the frame rate is above 50 frames per second. We're getting really high frame rates. Most of the time it's above 60 frames per second. So if you're running 25 by 14 high on modern titles, DX12, you're going to get a great result with Intel. Yeah, you can see some games we've got called out here. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, you're over 60 FPS, 68 frames per second. Fortnite, 105 frames Absolutely. per second. Absolutely. Again, a good experience, even at 1440p. I know. Are you a Fortnite guy, by the way? Uh, not a good one. Not a good one. Okay. It's fun. I like Fortnite. I, but I'm Did not Did you go to the it. whole, like, you know, little... I've been to the concerts. Disco, you've been to, been to okay. the concerts, cool. yeah. All right, so this is not enough data, though, right? It's not. we got to show the comp data. Here's comp. Too. Showing the comp. Now, again, same story. At 25 by 14 on high settings, you're going to see wins and loses. Sometimes we're going to win, sometimes we're going to lose. Let's normalize it and take a look. So in this slide, you can see, all right, I'm dividing by 3060 scores. So when the blue bars are above the green bars, that means Intel's winning. Mm -hmm. A750 is beating RTX 3060. And conversely, when the green is above, they're winning. Now, in this case, it, to me, it looks like we're more than half of the time. I mean, yeah, it was, uh, I'm going to call that a pretty convincing uh, win there. And on average, it's about 5% across all the titles that we tested. Again, at 25 by 14 high, mm -hmm. and your mileage will vary. But these are all DirectX 12 games. All DX12. We didn't talk about Vulkan yet. Let's, let, let's take a look at Vulkan. Okay, so again, this is a modern API. Vulkan is another one of those thin APIs, so you can get access to the hardware, kind of un unencumbered access. And, uh, you know, we're sort of trading blows again. Most of the time, we're, you know, kind of right in oh, there. Wow. Yeah. If you normalize it, which I, I think is, again, the best way to look at it competitively, it, the story becomes a little bit more clear. We're mostly winning at 19 by 10 and mostly winning at 25 by 14 with Vulcan. And on average, I'd say this is more like a 3 to 5%, maybe a little bit more towards the 5% win yeah. for Vulcan. So we've shown more than 50 games worth of data now at this point yes, across two have. different resolutions, us versus competition. We have and a two different summary. APIs. And two different APIs, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the summary of this is, is what, though? Well, What's let's look at the last chart. So the summary is A750 is trading blows, really, with 3060. And our estimate is that we're winning by between 3 and 5%. 3 more at 19 by 10, 5-ish at 25 by 14. But I, I can just say that it's a, it's a major accomplishment. And I got to tell you, after all the work and effort that's gone into making this part, I'm very excited to share this data with our, with our friends out there. And, and like you said, we're actually going to make this, the raw data of this available for people to go download, yep. you know, figure out what they're going to do with it. They can do their own kind of comparison. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be all kinds of funky uh, you know, yeah, web yeah. things. I'm looking forward to it. So some of this data, you know, integrated benchmarks, that means it's very repeatable. Some yep. of it different scenarios. Yep. So we'll kind of have to see where we... And I, and I do want to say, you know, there's error in all of this measurement, as you know, yeah. from your... But this is our best effort. We've done it across multiple labs. We've run multiple runs. We've kept the systems as similar as we can. All that data is going to be on the website, and you can see in the backup. So you can get all that at arc.intel.com. That's where we're going to have this video will be embedded if you're watching it somewhere else. We'll also have the data included there. And uh, we'll be back very soon to talk more about technology and performance and other features and capabilities of these graphics cards. Thanks for joining us.